what's up guys? This is my review of the Canamarine multi-parameter um, photometer. Um, inside this kit, Hannah literally gives you everything that you would need to get up and going to start testing uh, your reef tank. Um, for me, um, I've been using this kit now ever since uh, putting up my Refill X, and it has been the primary tool that I've been using uh, for the cycling process on my reef tank. You are able to test uh, pH, alkalinity, ammonia, calcium, magnesium. Nitrate low range, nitrate high range, nitrate ultra low range, and phosphate ultra low range. So inside, we get a quick reference guide. We get the actual tester itself. Hannah has even gone through and gave us a pair of scissors and included that with the kit as well. My thought on the scissors though, I don't think they're personally the best, but uh, they get the job done. For a better view of everything that's inside the kit, there's actually a little label right there. That would be everything you would get inside the kit. Like literally, as soon as you get it, it's it's it is ready to start testing. All right, let's go ahead and run through a test. Go ahead and do run through an ammonia test. And so I'm going to go ahead and power on the marine tester. I'm going to say connect device. I'm going to scroll down and select ammonia marine. I'm going to say send message to device. All right, at this point, we are ready to do all of the testing over on this end. Select continue. It is on the correct tank. So it wants me to add one ml of reference solution A. All right, that part's done. I'm saying next. Now I need to add in one packet of HI784B. The way I like to handle these packets is. I like to open it up like this and get it in to like a little funnel. Create like a little funnel out of it. And then just tap it right on in. That part's done. Next. It wants me to fill the rest of it up with 10 mil up to the 10 millimeter line with my aquarium water. All right, All right, 10 ml. Next, now it wants us to shake and mix this thoroughly for 90 seconds. All right, done. Next, all right, let curvet sit for 30 seconds. Next. All right, wipe curvet clean. So I'm going to wipe this clean with the included microfiber cloth. Next. All right, insert curvet and check notch alignment. And what it means by this is it may be hard to see, but there is a little line right here. And if I was to set that off to the side and put it in, 
and I slide it, you'll kind of feel it kind of click into place. See, there's very little movement there. But when that notch, when that alignment isn't in place, it kind of just spins all over. So I just like to apply a little bit of pressure into where it needs to go. So we'll click next. All right, we are ready to zero it out. We're going to say zero. All right, we're ready for the next step. Next, remove curvette. Now it wants me to add in one packet of HI-784C. That has been added. Next, now it wants me to shake gently for 30 seconds. All right, next, wipe curvette clean. Next, all right, insert curvette, check notch alignment. Next. All right, now we're at the step to where we are going to read it. So, read. This is going to start the reaction timer. Next. 2,000 years later. My final ammonia result came to 0.16. From here, we're going to click Complete Measurement. Like here, you can see some of the additional tests that I've done. Um, it stores all of your prior tests in a graph-like format. Like here is my ammonia. You can see where my ammonia started off at around 2.5. And then eventually, as the tank cycled, it started to creep down to where it is today. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see my nitrate and my nitrite results. My nitrite for my on my new refill X has been steady up around 200 parts per billion. But again, the tank's still cycling. And it also has the ability to support up to 10 different tanks. As you can see right now, it's set for my refill X, but I've also had uh, done tests on my 150 gallon system as well. So overall, what are my thoughts on this device? Um, I think it's awesome that Hannah has made a single device that has the ability to test every important parameter in your tank. It's also awesome that we get a step-by-step -step guide because it helps avoid user error. And overall, the functionality of the device has given me no issues. Um, all of my tests have been accurate and it was it's definitely a device that I would recommend to anyone. I hope this video helps you out um, if you're considering purchasing one of these. And until the next video, all right, guys, I'm out. Peace.